Are we rolling? Yep. I'm your host, Jeff Zart. We're going to take you behind the scenes with the craft distillers who are pouring their heart and soul into crafting the next version of America's Spirit. This is the Great American Whiskey Cookers. On this episode, we head back to Lincoln, Nebraska and have a discussion with Kip Givens, Master Whiskey Taster and co-owner Cody Schminke about what they had to do to get up and running as a brand new distillery in Lincoln, Nebraska. Hey, this is Jeff with the Great American Whiskey Cookers. If you haven't already, like us on Facebook, YouTube, like and share our videos. Better yet, go to Patreon, subscribe, become a member. We'd really love it. You can get access to some behind the scenes stuff and some behind the scenes clips. Today, we're in Lincoln, Nebraska, and I'm here at Sideshow Spirits in downtown Lincoln, Nebraska, a stone's throw from the stadium here. And I'm talking with Cody and Kip. Cody's one of the owners. Kip is our master whiskey taster. And we are talking business about running a distillery, Yeah. right? These boys back here, are artists, right? Like they really have that gene in them. It's, yeah. They're not painting pictures, but they are building something they're right. extremely passionate yep. about. And this kind of perfect mix of science and art, which is literally those two guys in the back right. room. And so uh, very passionate dudes. We we want them to stay excited as well. And we want right. to not, like what if the next great thing comes out of just experimental, you know? So we yep. always, brewery, distillery, we always afford the equipment and the time to be able to do some things that are out of the box. And, and we want people, we don't want to stifle that. Let's let's try this thing and then figure out how to sell it on the back end. You know what I mean? So if you guys decide, uh, this is what I love about craft distillers, and I think I already know the answer, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Um, if you guys decide, if, the, if the, your head the master distiller, head distiller comes on and says, hey, I want to do this, you can do that. We have a process, but for the most, so what we have kind of settled, when we first started this thing, we were doing something new every single day, right? Ooh, Just, that, wow. Oh my God, it was a shit show, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> yeah. Like, like we were, we were, I mean, it, it was a, so there were some growing pains there yeah. for sure. And so then, um, uh, my business partner Barry is very good at like just figuring out how to align everyone, right? And sure. so I, I'm the cheerleader, and he's the guy that 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 lines everybody up behind, you know, and 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 gets gets people in the right places. So we went down to I think we're doing four or five regular grain bills now, but we wanna we're small, we're scrappy, we can we can stick and move, right? So let me ask you a question, and I, I try to ask this question of all distillers and all, all distillers we go to. Um, why is it that you think you can make a whiskey <laughs> that competes with the big boys? So I, I once again, me and Kip will probably answer this separately, <laughs> but um, what we have done in business is, you know, collaboration over competition. We've done this thing where almost maybe stupidly, we put the blinders on and we focus on our own stuff, right? Not that we want to be ignorant of the market. We've got to learn the market. We've got to go out there and try these things and, and, and get into, you know, whiskey groups and, and the world of whiskey and, and building those relationships. That's all important. Uh, but what we really felt like is, and the reason that we're kind of just making Nebraska our home base right now is that Nebraska is underserved, right? Like we see these communities that are exploding with whiskey tourism and, and bottles and, and all these things. And Nebraska is not there yet. And so we feel maybe arrogantly even that we feel that we can bring that culture to this state. And that's really what's motivating us. I always say to the guys, you know, you gotta, you gotta build a home crowd before you go on tour. Right. And so we were really just trying to, um, not only educate, but, uh, uh, get these folks in the state of Nebraska behind our brand. And then we'll see where it goes after that. That's our focus at this point. So for us, as we're getting product on the market, we don't want, I mean, yes, we want shelf placement, but we don't just want shelf placement because nobody knows our name. Right. You nobody want, knows who we are. Yeah. So uh, when we go into a place for the first time for shelf placement, we want to come do an event. Yeah. So we do these road shows. And so we go, uh, they'll, they'll have some bottles there for sale. We'll have them up at our table or their little tasting bar, whatever it is. And, and we'll just offer them free samples and we'll educate them. We'll talk about our process, our mash bills, all the different things that we're doing, what they're drinking and give them not only the taste of what they're potentially going to buy or what's going to be on their shelf, yeah. but to give them our story 
to tell them about us, why um, you know buying local is important, why that uh, everything in Nebraska, why that uh, our stuff is worthy of being on the whiskey shelf, all of those things. And we feel the best way to sell a bottle is from us, not from just being on a shelf yeah. or from a, a, a salesperson whose just job is just to get it on the shelf. Yeah. We want the hands-on right. to be able to tell our story, get it in front of them, walk them through it, give that education piece and do it that way. Because your product, the products that you're releasing, your bourbon is how old? Just a little over two years. Just a so, little over two years. Yep. And your single malt, make sure I'm touching the right one, is also just a little over two years. Okay, so you're you're having to wait at least a couple of years yeah. before you're able to turn that product around. Yeah. I'm a whiskey fanatic. I love whiskey. Right. I, 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 I always tell people uh, I don't discriminate. Um, I, I like whiskey of all varieties and styles. Um, so for me, this, there's this passion point of it. But listen, I can go to the big boys. Yep. There's some of those that I love. I've yep. got them on my shelf. They're great. There's other of the big boys that I know are making a great product. But guess what? They don't fit my palate. Exactly. So where do we compete? We're not competing with the big boys. We're just offering a product that we believe is top notch, locally sourced, locally produced, that's going to fit a palette, everything that somebody's gonna go, man, this is really good. And they're gonna find that spot. So it's it's not about like, oh, I'm gonna try to put ours up against X, Y, and Z. Yeah. It's getting it in front of a consumer and going, why don't you try this? Yeah. I think you're gonna enjoy it. And here's the story behind why it's, what's gonna make it even better because it is a locally sourced product. We're not some big conglomerate. We're, we're a whole company that's a beer company that only has 140 people uh, employed across the state. The distillery, I mean, we've got two full-time guys in the back doing all this. Right. You know, there's a story there. I yeah. mean, it's a, you know. Yeah, um, indeed. And um, is, is everything we make gonna fit everybody's palate? No, but you know what? We're gonna make something for your palate and you're gonna enjoy it. And, and you're gonna find, you're gonna, wow, that's really good. That, 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 that's in Lincoln? Nebraska? Nebraska. <laughs> right. And so, you know, so that's part of the, to me, that's part of what, why our stuff is on the shelf and why we are competing, so to speak, right. is because um, we have a great story. We have a unique environment and we have a quality product. I like it. So where do they find you online? Uh, Sideshowspirits.com is the best place. We have a very robust website, our tours, our tastings, our distillery. Um, it's got everything that we've got going on there. That'll link off to socials. We're probably the most active on Facebook. Yep. Um, it's still king for us here. Um, spend some time on that website. There's some Easter eggs within that website. I think people enjoy it too. So. Oh yeah. 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 Indeed. And the location here downtown. What's the address? 1630 P Street, downtown Lincoln, Nebraska. We're tucked in right between the Capitol and the University. So. Fantastic. Cody, Kip, thanks a lot for the discussion. Discussion on the business, running the distillery, super informative. Uh, always love learning about that kind of stuff and uh, what it takes to kind of get involved with that. You can find us online on the socials. Join our Patreon site. We'd really appreciate it. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Hey, keep watching for more videos. We have tasting videos coming up that you're going to want to see from us. So until next time, can it be good? Be good at it. See you. That was a ringer. You make it so easy. <laughs> yeah. That's the goal. Do a show of the interviews. Yeah, you make it so easy, bro. Like, the better, the better. Get more relaxed. It, like, it's just going to be better. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's not supposed to be, it's not supposed to be formal.